tuned up to the radio here. That's right, we did get that done. We got it tuned up where it's supposed to be sounding halfway as decent. Yeah, I talked to uh, 99 a couple of times today, and uh, he took off. I don't know what he, what he wanted to do. He wanted to do something, but anyway, uh, I didn't hear him um, anymore. And, uh, you know, he, uh, they was just sitting in here looking at the television, and, uh, and uh, I did check, uh, talk with Chip Mark two, two or three times, and I talked with Kip Nazy. He had a uh, couple of videos Tuesday that he was checking out, and I helped him with that, and uh, I don't think I talked to anybody else. Uh, it was just been a quiet day. Yeah, Roger, on that. Yeah, well, I was getting ready to ask you what project was Jim Monk and Captain Easy working on, so you told me they were working on a Cobra 2000 down there. I guess it was a 2000 he was working on. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, uh, it was Smoke Ashes 2000. He is over there. About two or three weeks, he had a kit to put in it. Uh, I think he got it from Canada, and he put it in there, and uh, they helped it out a little bit. But anyway, that's uh, that's uh, what uh, that was like. Uh, uh, last time I talked to him, and uh, I did, I, I did what they, I did talk to Chigma. Three times a day, you know, but Chick Monkey's uh, is in and out, you know, he don't stay very long. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, Roger on that. Well, maybe old Chip Monk will jump in here tonight for a little bit with us. And I mean, gosh only knows if 99, you know how he is, he may show up and he may not. Well, he might be, um, I went to sleep, he went to, I, I asked him, I said, where did you go last night? He said, I'll tell you what, I fell on the bed and I, I would do my come down by 3 o'clock this morning, or 4 o'clock when you called him. He said, you called him by 4 o'clock. And he got up and tried to, I asked for you, and he grabbed the, um, the, uh, wrong microphone and, uh, and talk, 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 and he didn't, that, didn't, or do nothing to the radio, and he was going on. <laughs> so, uh, that's what, uh, uh, 99, uh, did. He was, I was talking to you on a microphone that wasn't hooked up. Well, Big R, if you and I didn't know better, and you and I do know better, we know that 99 don't drink. <laughs> you and I know that, but if we didn't know better, we'd swear he was a drunk and, and picked up wrong microphones, huh? But you know what, uh, Condor, I got two microphones sitting right here. I get up and I try to um, get my, uh, my uh, leaners uh, so I wake get them do right on certain channels. I, I, I grab the wrong microphone. Well, I just put it right down. I knew what it was, what, what it was you know. It, it didn't key up. I said, I got the wrong microphone. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. He, he, uh, he don't drink, but um, I think he gets a sleepy eye. And don't, he don't know what he's doing for the first five or ten minutes after the race up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, see, like you said, you know pretty soon right away, oh, I've got the wrong mic. Oh, 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 99, he talks for 10 minutes on it before he realizes it ain't doing nothing. That's what he said, I was on my phone. 561. I'm surprised he didn't pack everything up and take it to the shop this morning. Well, uh, to bring you up to date on it, at 4 o'clock this morning, I hollered for 99 just in case he was up. And uh, he didn't answer, so I went on about doing something else. And he come running in, jumped out of his bed, grabbed the microphone, and talked for five minutes. 
before you realized he was talking on the wrong microphone. That sounds like something you would also do, Condor. Well, that's why I keep my microphone separated. That's why I keep them suckers separated. I got one way down yonder, and the other two are hanging up on hangers. So I can't, any, any more, I can't grab the wrong one. Thank you. 